Hi, the Mowgli's Rocha here. Let's take a walk together. I could be walking by myself, but I decided to bring you along. I guess this means we are kind of friends. If we are friends, I guess this means you should give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, of course. But what about other people? Why should they give this video a like and subscribe to this channel? I will tell you why. Because here, people will get interesting content about nice places to visit in Brazil, interviews with awesome people, and a lot more, I promise. For instance, right now we're walking in downtown Messejana. I thought you would like to see this little part of Brazil. This is close to where I live. I came here today for a medical exam. I'm only 33 years old and my knee hurts and my shoulder hurts. This is me sharing. Aren't people supposed to only share good things about their lives on the internet? And here I am telling you about my knee and shoulder. How much do you pay monthly for healthcare insurance in your country? Here in Brazil, I pay about $35 because my plan is old. My wife is only 29 years old and she pays about $60 monthly because her plan is recent. I heard that sometimes when people need expensive health treatments in America, they may go broke. Is this true? What do you know about this? Do you understand what I'm doing here? This is me trying to get you to comment something. Comments and subscriptions are good for the channel. But I am genuinely interested in knowing your thoughts about the healthcare system in America. Here in Brazil, we have a public health system. It's called SUS. Sistema Único de Saúde. I would translate this to English like unique health system. Although it has the word único in its name, that means unique or the only one, we have other private healthcare companies. Everyone I know who makes enough money to pay for private health insurance do so. This means that if you make enough money, you won't rely on SUS because it is not very good. Not very good, but I have to tell you that when my mother got cancer, she had all her treatment in SUS and she got over it. She's all better now and we are not broke. People talk about how much healthcare insurance is expensive in America, but we don't see very often Americans trying to move to other countries just so they can enjoy a public healthcare system. But I think I heard about Americans flying to other countries to have cosmetic surgery or dental treatment because it would be more affordable in those countries. Would you move to a foreign country to have access to public health care? Do you want to know something interesting about Brazil? We have public health care, but most politicians use private health care, paid with tax money. We have public schools, but most politicians send their kids to private schools. We have police, but almost all politicians live in condos with private security and drive cars that are bulletproof. Why don't people do something to change this system? Most people are too busy trying to survive. They don't have time to make a deep change. Every two years people are allowed to vote and choose the politicians that will decide how much tax you pay and how they want to spend it. When I see people cheering for a politician, I get sad. It's like the cow cheering for the butcher. I know not all politicians are bad, but I don't think that politics is the main factor for improving life quality. The main factor for improving life quality is learning, it's education, and that's why I am a teacher and most of all that's why I'll be a student until the end of my life. This is it for today, thank you for watching, feel free to comment and share your thoughts about all this, please share this video if you think it was interesting, take care!